Iceman50 here. Um, decided to pick up a sprint booster for my uh, 2015 Hemi Challenger uh, Shaker Edition. Um, so uh, I heard a lot about these things online, and uh, you know they're supposed to open the throttle faster and supposed to see you know supposed to give you more you know of a, of a faster feel to the car, more responsive. So um, what I want to do is open this up and show you what comes in the package. And it should only take five five minutes to install. Just right down on the accelerator pedal, and just pop it in, and we'll uh, we'll see what happens. So let's take a look at this. Um, the box is actually kind of kind of pretty thick. Um, it's actually nice packaging for people that care about packaging, I guess. Um, so they give you a quick start manual. They give you a user's guide. There is one piece of double stick tape and one zip tie and there's a serial number cover that up it's got a barcode and everything on there and then you've got the little control module this is like the little part where you can uh, change the settings or whatever it's got a little uh, little molex connector down here on the end let's make sure that doesn't fly away on us and then inside this little bag is the cable. Um, so this side clips into the to the accelerator pedal. So underneath here, you got to lift up this little lever on the one in there, and then you can pull this, squeeze this in, and pull it out. And then um, this goes this goes in there, and then this control thing uh, plugs into the back here, and then you just route it up. So what I'll do is. We'll go ahead and I'll reach under the under the dash and we'll unplug the uh, pedal and then we'll uh, we'll put it in. I I don't know if it comes default. It, it probably tells you. It probably comes default off, but it's real easy. You just plug it in. And there's so many other videos on YouTube. But all right, let's get to uh, let's get to uh, plugging this in and see what happens. Right. So you looked. It's you can see where the accelerator pedal is. Okay, it's um. All right, now I now I remember this. There's this cover that's here, and we've got to pull this out. Uh, there's a push pin here, and there's a push pin up here. The question is, can I uh, can I do it without the push pin? I can just bend this back a little bit. We gotta take this panel off. All right, we'll come right back once I get the panel off and we'll make it a little bit easier because uh, that was the one thing I read. I just, you know, haven't looked under here, so I don't know, but uh, this there's a little fiber panel under here that just covers that area that we need access to. So there's just two push pins under here and then this'll drop. Panel clips are bionic. Oh, there we go. Got it. Oh, there's my LED. That probably needs uh, that probably needs to be fixed. Figure that out. Okay. Now the question is, do I have enough room just pulling down this part of the panel here? Oh yeah. Okay. So uh, here, I'll take the camera and I'll show you. Sorry, my camera skills are not the greatest. Uh, so it's, I guess you can see it, it's right in there. So I gotta do is unplug it and then uh, plug it in. Hang on to that. Okay. It doesn't look like there's a clip on there. It looks like I can just It's unplugged. Okay. So, let me hand me that real quick. I'll show you guys the connector. 
Uh, we almost got uh, jacked by the copyright police. Don't want that. Uh, so I think green is normal. Green is like sport. And then you push this, the little sprint booster symbol. And then that's, ra that's race or sport or whatever. I forget. And then the third one's off. So let's set it. We'll go drive it around, but let's just set it when it goes to green. We'll set it. There's how many? Nine. Yeah, there's nine settings for each level. So the green is one level, and then there's. So let's set it to. Uh, let's set it to five in the green level, and we'll set it to red and five in the red level. Okay, so that's off. So let's go ahead and go for a ride. Oh, we don't want to forget about all our manuals and stuff. That would be bad. All right, Spin Booster, let's see if hear everything that everybody said. Uh, okay. yeah. Hold on the window here. Okay. All right, here we go. This is, so I haven't hit the throttle yet. Okay, feels like normal. We gotta get out on the street, we'll really see. Yeah, you guys, you know, this corona, it's getting everybody, you know? It's like, even worried about going out here that someone might say that I'm screwing around, which I am, but, you know, I just, so this is me as a forewarning saying, oh, I hope I don't get pulled over. Uh, maybe watch ahead in the video, we'll see what happens. Like normal, I, you know, I'm still on some on some surface streets. I don't want to make some big rips here on the street in the neighborhood. Uh, let's go down this way. She sounded nice and healthy today too. It's the warm weather. I mean, it's not too hot. It's only 55 outside. She's running pretty good. Uh, you guys gotta tell me in the comments. Should I uh, should I remove the mid pipes, the mid ca uh, the mid mufflers? Should I do that? I feel like I feel like that um, it would make it nice and loud, but not too loud. I, you know, short you know, stopping short of getting a whole uh, exhaust, which I do want to do. I, I, I want to do that. I want to get like the uh, the Borla uh, ATAC or ATAC, whatever it is. Um, I had a, some Borla and a Mustang, old 90, uh, 91 uh, convertible. It sounded really good. Um, but you know, that's a Mustang. Mustangs always sound good. I mean, but uh, I mean, the only the only thing that, it, that's why I ask about the, the, the mid muffler delete, because when you get on this car from wide open throttle, it sounds amazing. It's loud. But when you're just driving around, it sounds like you got a six cylinder. I mean, I had one of those too. I had a a V6, just same year and everything. I just upgraded to, same color, everything. Just upgraded to the Hemi uh, Shaker. So, okay, pull out here. It definitely seems, <laughs> ooh, speed limit, work zone. Uh, definitely, you know, that's, that's stock. There's nothing, there's nothing different about it. Uh, so let's, uh, We'll wait till we get past the construction here because I don't want to, you know, break the law or anything. <laughs> I just don't want to get caught in a speed zone. That's the real truth. Okay, we'll come across the bridge here. Lights green. Now, theoretically, I heard you can do this while driving. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it to green. Okay. Oh, it's... I'm sure <laughs> RTFM, right? Uh, uh, 
so yeah, that wasn't very good. Um, maybe what we'll do is pull over the gas station here and take a look at the manual real quick. Uh, I'm gonna turn this off and we're gonna come over here and take a quick look at the uh, at the instructions. <laughs> I know, should have done it before, but uh, so excited to get this thing in and, and running that uh, I didn't. <laughs> so, you know how it is, just go fast, you know? So, let's see here. Come in here. Okay. I'll try to let's park right over here real quick. I'll stay away from the curb. Oh god. Alright, let's park this thing. Let's take out the instructions. The destructions. So quick start or installate. Let's let's look at the quick start guide first. Maybe they know something I don't. They made it, I didn't, so. I thought I got the non-Spanish side here for a second. Uh, Non-English, <laughs> non-Spanish. Uh, let's see. Acceleration modes, off, no light, sport, green light, race, red light. Uh, okay, yep, cycle through, okay, we did all that, okay. Uh, Okay, so does it say right side automatic manual? Okay, connect it, connect it. As soon as you will need to connect the selector switch, okay. Um, after you install, you can attach the selector switch anywhere before attaching it. Clear, does not interfere. Okay, in some vehicles, what do I say? Let's turn the car off. Open the door so everything shuts off. And then, because Sport 5 wasn't that good, but maybe that's how it's supposed to be. I don't know. I have no idea. I should have just gone straight to... Oh, I already got my... Oh, so <laughs> technical issues, <laughs> pedal lock mode, valet mode, valet mode, valet mode. Jesus is like freaking valet mode, troubleshooting. Uh, symptoms. Okay, now let's go to symptoms. Oh, <laughs> so there's no condition. There's no setting. There's no, nothing, no troubleshooting for the set. Let's see here. Check engine light appears. Nope, that didn't happen. Selector switch does not light up. No, that didn't happen either. And that's the end of troubleshooting. So I guess, you know, according to them, we did it, right? I don't know. We'll drive it back and see what happens. But uh, so far, I'm not super excited. It's kind of actually disappointing. Uh, let's see. And it doesn't feel like crazy insane or anything. It doesn't feel weird. It doesn't feel like the throttle's opening that much faster. I've watched all the videos. I see how it works. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like that, though. It seems like it's kind of lagging. I mean, I, I got a quarter tank of gas. Well, just a little bit. Oh, one way. Perfect. So, let's see here. I mean, it doesn't... Oh, my God. I, I hate this neighborhood. That's why I never come in here. It's all one way. One way. I want the one way out of here. A one way to okay, okay. I guess I'm stopping here and then screw it. I'm going around. This is like a roundabout. I'm going around. I just need to get back to the way I came in. everybody I thought that this is gonna be amazing <laughs> actually it does I mean it seems like if you don't push it the pedal down all the way it definitely seems like a little bit snappier but you know if I'm going I want to 
I want to step on that thing all the way. I mean, I, I want to hit it to the floor. Definitely sounds good when you're going slow. Okay, I gotta go to the other side. It's a divided road. Oh yeah, I feel like just barely pushing the pedal, it definitely, <laughs> it definitely seems like there's a difference right there. I don't know what the deal is with wide open throttle. I don't know, I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do. Maybe I'll, I'll try, we'll try like, I'll lay on it a little bit, then I'll push it halfway. I mean, I'm, I'm not on it, I'm just giving a little bit of gas right now. That, <laughs> yeah. People are gonna freak out if they can pass them like that. It definitely, it definitely did something uh, with just a little bit of pedal uh, movement. So I, I don't know, we'll see here. It, it definitely might make the commute to work more interesting. I, I only, really only ever get up to 30, 35 miles an hour. So, I mean, you could sound really amazing getting up to 35 in first gear. Although, if I wanted to do that, I could just put it in manual mode. So, I don't know, but uh, let's see here. You know, we almost also try putting it in manual with the, with the shifter uh, paddles too and see what happens. See if that makes a difference. We'll try it all sorts of different ways here. Uh, let's see. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Edit this out a little bit. Well, hopefully with all these clips that uh, end, we can hopefully put them together. <laughs> I'm sure we will. Yeah. Oh yeah! I definitely think I feel like it's just when you push it a little bit. It definitely... Yeah, because I am not pushing it to the floor. sport mode okay now the now the car is in sport <laughs> all right, so that's our honest view for the non-sport so okay. let's see what it is like sport yeah i forgot i didn't have the car in sport mode <laughs> hey it should work without sport mode come on it should be amazing <laughs> I was just hopeful thinking, I guess. <laughs> I was like, oh, is that a Hellcat? Dude, honestly, I did hear like a one. Okay, it seems different in sport mode. <laughs> it seems a little different in sport mode. Uh, you gotta be careful up here. What am I in? I'm in, I'm in, I'm in red nine. I'm in race nine. I don't know, did it? You know what? It sounds I, like I don't care. This thing sounds like it has a supercharger. <laughs> I don't care if, uh, yeah. if that's all it did was give me a supercharger noise, that'd be amazing. I'd be like, oh, this is awesome. It, it makes it seem like it has more of a whine. That's it does. Weird. That's weird. It's weird. I, but I'm not disliking it. <laughs> we'll put the window down a little bit more and see if I can, if I can capture that whatever, that, whatever that sound is. I don't want to hear any comments. Oh, your engine is about to blow up either. <laughs> I only have 36,000 miles on this car. And I pretty much baby it. So I only go eight miles a day to work. So, yeah, this, this is a 2015 with only 36,000 miles. It's pretty low. I mean, I do drive it. It's my everyday car, so. Oh, it definitely seems like. Uh, interesting. Smell a little smoke. 
know, maybe that's the guy in front of me. <laughs> I don't want to jinx myself, then my car blows up. Yeah, let's hope. Let's not. Let's hope not. Alright. Uh, the guy in the truck is going real slow. That's about like, oh, that's diesel. That's diesel. That's yeah. diesel. Mm -hmm. speed up. I want to cut the guy off and I got to turn right up here anyway, so we'll, we'll, we'll come back this way. Uh. Remember, you guys shouldn't be out here doing what I'm doing. <laughs> We're supposed to be sheltering in place, but uh, I feel pretty sheltered in my car right about now. I feel good. But, uh, yeah, you know, this is definitely, you know, there's a lot of people around. Believe it or not, there's a bunch of people around in the streets and stuff. I don't want to get too crazy. I'm kind of getting back to my neighborhood here, so we'll give it a little bit of, give it a little rip. It's interesting. Oh, I, de I definitely heard the downshifting there. That's interesting. I'm almost. I'm kind of hearing sounds that I didn't hear before. I, of course, it doesn't have a speaker. Well, oh. yeah. Race nine. When you're just stepping on the gas pedal from a stop, just stepping on a little bit is definitely grippy. I actually think I probably am just gonna leave it on. Uh, red, no, I said Sport nine. Race nine. I think I'm probably just gonna leave it there. If uh, you know, is it amazing? Nah. Not, not according to their videos, you know. But, uh, oh, 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 that right there, though, is, <laughs> that could get you in trouble. You got it. this thing was touchy before, so it, it makes it, a, it, it definitely makes taking off a little touchier, you know, so that's gonna make, that's gonna be the fun part for me. As far as wide open throttle or whatever, it doesn't really look like it does much, which, you know, I wasn't really expecting it to, but it, it seems like, you know, definitely right at the, right at the beginning when you're on the throttle. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, just a, I, mean, I got it to spin the tires before just stepping on a little bit. I, is it blowing my mind? Nah. But, you know, and this this cost me like 200 and, I don't know, 80 bucks or something like that, whatever it was. I, was it worth it? I don't know. Maybe. It seems a little bit more fun, but, you know, it's not like it's adding horsepower or anything. So, but, uh, yeah, well, you know, I guess that's it for about now. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll, uh, Park here, and uh, oh, I'm getting blinded by the sun. Park here, and give you my honest opinion, which I probably have already three times already. But so, did it do something? Yes, it did. It definitely, when you're just a little bit on the throttle, you can tell. Like I'm, I'm on race nine. It's definitely, you know, kind of wanting to go right away from, you know, rolling 40 or, you know, just whomping on it, wide open throttle. It's not like putting me back in my seat, you know, or anything. But, uh, I mean, it definitely added something to it. It's interesting. Was it worth almost $300? I don't know. But, you know, all, all I can tell you is, is, is uh, what I see and what I feel. And it's all right. I, Hope this doesn't discourage anybody from getting it. I, I saw some other videos. It didn't discourage me. It, it's a mod, you know, it's something fun to do to the car, you know, and uh, it's so easy, you know, if you got to take it in, you know, to get worked on for warranty work or whatever, you can just unplug it and no one will, they'll never even know. I mean, you could just, leave, you know, leave it dangling in there. I'm sure, you know, I'm sure I can set something up, and, you know, just unplug the wire and you're good to go. I guess for right now, I'm probably just gonna, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing. I guess Maybe I can just wedge it in here for right now. Maybe I can just wedge it in there. Let's see here. Ooh, it's a honeymoon fit. Uh, okay. That's not gonna work there. I know they gave me double stick tape, but if you're like me, you really don't wanna Oh, you know, well, then it's in way of my controls and stuff. 
I don't know. I found the perfect spot for it, right? <laughs> right there. Now I gotta move the cable. We'll move it later. We'll figure it out. All right, well, I hope you guys uh, found this interesting. I, I found it interesting. Uh, it was five minutes worth of work and you know, it definitely changed a little bit. Did it make more fun? Yeah, maybe from stop sign to stop sign or stoplight to stoplight, you know. Um, you know, when I put it in the, the green mode, sport mode on five, it was kind of like, eh. it was like, oh, this feels like a four banger. That didn't feel good. So, yeah, I think we're going to leave it here and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya. Hey, everybody. Iceman50 here. Um, I just want to give you an update on the uh, Sprint Booster install on my uh, 2015 Dodge Challenger. Uh, Hemi shaker. Jesus, it's a mouthful. Um, anyways, so, you know, I've been driving around with it for, um, you know, I don't know how long it's been, a week or two. And uh, it's actually pretty interesting. I, I'm, I know before I said, like, that... Um, I was kind of disappointed. I wouldn't say I'm disappointed. What I what I would say is um, that it's very sensitive at the top of the range. The car stock is very sensitive to, at the top of the range of the gas pedal just when you start pushing it. This is like over exaggerates it. So in town when you're going, you know, 35, 40 miles an hour, uh, it's actually pretty fun. I, I've been left it at race uh, seven. And, um, you know, when you step on the gas, it gets up to 35 real quick. It, it's actually kind of interesting. And it, it's, it's almost like it's full throttle up to 35. Um, so it's been actually kind of fun. Um, you know, as far, I mean, I, I have done it wide open throttle and stuff too. And it seems to be better, but it's like, I mean, for what it is, it's, it's fun and it's interesting I just wish that it was like built into a different type of tuner. Like, <clears throat> I know my car's a 15, and I read some stuff about, you know, not being compatible uh, with certain tuners or whatever. But, um, you know, as of as of what it is right now, that I think that uh, the um, it was worth the money. It was it's something fun. At least I can turn it off. You know, my son drives my car and, you know, we can turn it on, we can turn it off, we can do all sorts of stuff. Um, so, is it worth it? Yeah, I think so. Just just for the pure fun of it, sure. Um, and, you know, if you really don't like it, then unplug it and, you know, maybe somebody else will buy it on eBay. But, um, you know, it is very car specific from what I understand. That's how you got to order it, you know, so they got to know exactly what it is. So, but... Um, yeah, that, I just, I know this is, I'm not sure if I'm going to put this at the front or the back, but we'll, we'll put it on to this video as I'm editing it. This is really my first attempt at trying to do something edited and interesting on, on my channel. I'm, I'm, I'm looking to get into doing some more recording. I got a, uh, a powered gimbal coming. I got a, a DJI uh, Mobile 3, so that'll be kind of interesting. Um, It'd be pretty cool. So you see some better shots right now. I, what you what you're seeing is, is me on a on a tripod with a uh, a 3D part that I uh, I printed. Here I'll pu I'll <laughs> I'll pull you off of here, and you can see. Oh, here's the family. So here's <laughs> here's here's the 3D part that I printed. It's just a you know like two clips, and then it's got like this spring clip in the back. So. Uh, yeah, so now I'll just flip this back over and set this back in here and I'll have my my minions <laughs> Set this back up and almost I don't think it's upside down. I don't know what it is Hang on a second. A they're gonna scientist. they're gonna correct it You may yeah, exactly there. There's something off oh. about the tilt of this thing <clears throat> There we go like there's there's something going on with the with the tilt of this whole thing. you can tilt the Look, you can tilt it like like this. No, no, so set it down, and then this whole thing will, like that. It, it looks actually pretty, that's what I had to do. So yeah, don't mess with the, I don't know. Anyways, okay, there we go. <laughs> we'll have to cut some of that out. But anyways, <laughs> um, the point being is that yeah, I've got some more cool stuff coming. So, you know, hopefully this will get more interesting.